This tutorial is going to show you how to wire and code a photoresistor. Uh, a photoresistor is a fairly common piece of electronics. Um, if you have any exterior lights at your house or even interior lights like a night light uh, that comes on automatically when the light gets low, like at dusk or at nighttime, or maybe when you turn the lights out uh, and it automatically turns the light on, uh, chances are it's using a photoresistor to do that. So it's a pretty simple circuit and very simple code. So let's start off by dropping in a photoresistor from our basin components onto our breadboard. You'll notice that I've already got um, my ground and my five volt coming into the breadboard. And we're gonna complete a circuit by bringing our five volt up to our terminal two of the photoresistor. I'm gonna make that red. And then we're gonna use a, uh, just a regular resistor uh, on terminal one. And um, we're going to wire this kind of an interesting way. First, I'm going to uh, turn this so it's sideways. Uh, and then it lines up uh, with my uh, terminal one on my photoresistor. And then I'm going to connect the other end of that terminal on my row three to my ground using a black wire. Okay, next we're going to wire um, a second jumper from terminal one after the resistor. And I'm going to bring that down and bring that over to my analog input one. Okay, and we can leave that green. Uh, next, I'm going to wire up two LEDs. Um, let's bring those in and uh, I'm just going to make them uh, white, kind of like a night light. One white one and let's make a second white one. And I'm going to connect the uh, cathode down to my ground using a black wire. I can't I look. There it is. Same thing with my other one. And then I'm going to bring a wire uh, from the anode side. Oops. And I'm going to come up to two different digital ports here D1, and we'll do D2 for the other one. Okay. That's all the wiring I'm, I'm going to have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up so that as it gets dimmer, it'll light up the first LED. And then when it gets even darker, it'll turn on the second LED. And let's look into the code. So uh, we're gonna start with our void setup and define our ports as what they're doing. So open up a brace and we've got pin mode one. That's gonna be our output. Pin mode two. That's also going to be an output. And then our analog port in mode A1, that's going to be our input. And I'm going to close my brace. That's all I have in my setup. Let's move on to the command loop. So void loop. Open my brace. Okay, so uh, the first thing I do is I need to uh, create an integer vari variable, and I'm going to do that in my command loop this time. So int, and um, we're just going to call that analog value again, as we have in the past. And that's going to be storing whatever we read our analog input to be. So we're going to use analog read command and set that to a1 which again is our oops, analog input. Okay, So now uh, it's taking that analog signal from the photoresistor, and again, it's converting that to a digital number between 0 and 1023. Um, so now that we know those numbers, we can create a few if statements. Okay, And uh, I should say that the um, when it's bright out, that's going to be have, that's the um, higher number uh, on this device, right? So it'll return a higher number when it's actually bright out. So our first if statement is going to deal with that. If the analog value, um, and we'll just go about halfway, and we'll just call it 500. If it's, if it's greater than 500, okay, then we're going to digital write both of our LEDs to a low power state. We don't want them on because it's bright out, right? I forgot to add a brace here. Digital write one low. 
And I'm just going to copy and paste a few things here and tab that over. Digital right, too low. Oops, not 21. And then I'm going to close my brace. Okay, so if the analog value is higher, both lights are off. Okay, if my analog value is greater than 200, and remember we use two amper sands for that, and my analog value is uh, less than 500, which was the number I used in my first statement. So if my analog value is between 200 and 500, then I'm gonna open a brace and I'm gonna just copy and paste these items here. Okay, we're gonna digital write one to be a high powered state and we're gonna leave digital too low. Last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy this whole thing and bring that down for my third statement. If the analog value is less than 200, then I'm gonna write both of those digital pins to high powered states to turn on both LEDs, okay? Um, and then the last thing I have to do is close my brace for my entire piece of code, okay? Start the simulation, see if I have any errors in my code. It looks good, but, oh, I see what I did. We used jumpers instead of resistors. Easily fixed. We don't want to break those precious LEDs. Okay. Start the simulation. Okay. Uh, now, when I click on the photoresistor, it's going to bring up uh, a little uh, continuum here. Right now, it's on the dark end. And you can see that both lights are lit up. So as the sun rises and gets past that 200 mark, you can see my second LED turned off, but one of them is still on. And when I get a little bit about halfway, uh, they're both going to turn off because now I'm in the bright time of day. And then in the evening or when I turn out the lights and want my night lights on, uh, as I bring that darker, my first LED will turn on and then my second LED will come back on as well. Here's one more look at that code. 